hi everyone just wanted to let you know that this is actually my sixth attempt at filming Sunday ramblings but because I'm so dedicated to all of my viewers <laughs> um, I decided to persevere basically my MacBook was just saying to me you've got no space and I'm rubbish at making sure that I clean this thing up so I had to dig deep and find out where or what it was that was taking up all the space and just delete it so Sunday ramblings is eaten later into the evening so I do apologize okay and there's some really good content as well in the ones that I attempted to talk to you about in the previous ones but you know so be it this is the wonders of technology so welcome to this edition of Sunday Ramblings and I've had um, an interesting week to say the least I have done my challenge my no sugar seven day detox challenge i ran the first ever club size vibe session i think i've broken my finger because i shut it in the door um, i'm not able to go to the doctor still tomorrow so i'm just having to live with the pain because i'm hardcore and um yeah it's been an interesting week. So I've had my classes, obviously, at Teach Clubicise on a Monday. And the weather was beautiful, which generally tends to mean that class numbers are quiet, you know. And I'm completely honest with you guys. I'm always honest with you guys. I'm not going to sit in front of the computer screen and go, oh, my God, my classes are full. The weather was perfect outside, but my classes were full. Because, you know, my class numbers did drop on Monday. But respect to those who did come out and still sweated and got their groove on, you know. We still had a good time. We still partied. And I know that everybody will be back next week won't you even if the weather is good yes yes good glad to hear it okay so first day doing the um seven day detox no sugar challenge and i had um a cloudy head a bit of a headache and that was obviously all the toxins and everything flushing out of my system but i i was thinking i don't eat that much sugar you know um but i have a tendency to go into the kids um chocolate and crisp box now if any of you have got young children you will know where i'm coming from when i'm talking about the crisp stroke snack stroke chocolate box and even though they're like only little mini things you know i'd be like oh I'll just go and have like one of them little mini things because there's not much in there and then i would want a packet crisps as well and then it just got dangerous so I separated everything out so the kids had their own bit and it wasn't mixed in with any of my food and stuff because I knew that that was going to be my downfall. And, you know, it worked quite well out of sight, out of mind. So I took that away, you know, um, got tempted. Excuse me, I, yeah, got a thing going. I'm going to be sniffing all the way through this. So that worked out quite well. I moved you out of the way. Make sure that I went out on Sunday and bought loads and loads of food. I did have to actually stock up a couple of times during the week as well because I just didn't have enough room in my fridges i got two fridges i got a big fridge with my freezer and i got a little fridge as well so i didn't have enough room in the fridges for all of the stuff but hey ho um as i was eating it obviously it was depleting and making spice so monday got out the way um I, like i said i had this cloudy headache, headache thing going on and i'm gonna wake up on tuesday i felt a lot better because i tried to drink a lot more water to try and flush it out of my system faster you know so tuesday i had my training session with Sai. So I was a bit worried about where I was going to get like my energy from and stuff. But when I'd spoken to Kelly, she was saying to me, oh, you'll be fine. You know, you can eat things like sweet potato and butternut squash and everything else. And, you know, and loads of green veg and that. Just make sure you're eating loads of that and you'll get your energy from that. And she was right. You know, I did have, I had plenty of energy to be able to go and do my training session. And I love to love um, going and training with Zoe. And you guys know that from the little video clips that I do because not only do I go and I have a very good workout with the trainer, he's very thoughtful about the plans that he sets for me. And, you know, he's very flexible and very adaptable, depending on, on what it is that I want to achieve and what we're trying to do. But I can also talk to him about nutrition because he knows what he's talking about. And he runs his own juicing company. Those of you um, that have seen previous posts that I've done, he runs a company called Juice For You. And I have used his juices and, you know, they've worked really well for me. But I had to take a week off from doing the juices because obviously his juices have fruit and veg in. And I was not allowed to have any fruit this week because I really struggled. I missed, missed my juices, sorry. 
missed my juices so i'll be back on my juices this week so i'll have a, a nice little collection for me when i go in for my training session on tuesday so then wednesday again was fine um i've been prepping my meals in advance and i did actually struggle a bit with this because i've got friends like some of the guys at box fit like wayne and richie uh, they got they prep and they're good at prepping i suck at prepping food i'm like really bad really bad i can only make prep like maybe two three meals max because i'm just like i get sick of cooking and you know i like to be able to have the flexibility to change my mind about what i want to eat you know i don't want to think oh, i've got such and such in the fridge which i did do for the first couple of days like i bought this massive like this massive tray of salmon from morrison's but yeah yeah this will work really well you know like 12 pieces and i got some bargain boiled the, the head and the tail as well when i cut all the fillets off and made um like a salmon stucky stew type thing you know which had a few bowls out which is quite nice and you know roasted off some salmon and steamed some salmon and basically i got sick of salmon like seriously salmon just did my head in it was it was too much if i never see salmon again that's the way i'm feeling at the moment it'll be too soon which is a shame because i love salmon usually so yeah that wasn't the best that wasn't the best idea that i'd had like prepping and that much salmon but anyway so i bought some different types of fish and i bought some chicken and i bought some mince and i was cooking the mince up and i thought this would be good i'll be able to have it in the evening you know and then i think it was on the tuesday i had porridge for breakfast and um, it was quite early because i'd got up and i had to go to the courier and stuff and then i was hungry about half nine and i was like i need food what am i gonna eat what am i gonna eat so i looked in the fridge and i'd obviously prepped this mince so here's me sitting at the table eating mince at like half nine in the morning and it just felt weird because obviously i would say as a nation we're conditioned to having certain foods at certain times of the day so like in the morning for me it's porridge or like muesli type cereal stuff um toast with peanut butter and banana those kinds of things you know i mean at, the, at my most adventurous i would have like poached egg and i've had salmon in the morning well we're not talking about salmon and this morning i had poached egg and i had um, a gammon steak for breakfast you know and an avocado and that, that was nice but it's like the weekend so it's different isn't it it's like that was my full english healthy type version but you know we, we, so we become conditioned as a nation to have foods at, at different times of the day so you have to learn to break that cycle really and then you know what you'll find is you'll be able to get enough energy from the types of foods that you're eating in the morning you know but i didn't whip out the steak i was up to speak i had to draw the line at having a steak i like my steak medium rare with chips in the evening in front of the telly and I was not doing that at half past nine in the morning. Okay, <laughs> so you know, my, I um, worked on prepping my foods and had to really think about what I was putting into my body. I had some days where I was like, "Yeah, this is easy," and then I had other days where I was like, "Actually, this is quite hard." You know, but I persevered. And one of my downfalls was not drinking enough water. I did not get enough water into my system, and I should have done really. So I knew that was going to be a problem because I struggle anyway. And so he always tells me off about not drinking enough water. And I always tell my students off about not drinking enough water. So I need to, you know, listen to my own advice, really, you know. So uh, moving through, yeah, when, so Wednesday, I had my uh, weight training session with Zoe. And then I was a bit worried about what I was going to eat in between class because I usually have a banana or uh, like a pre-workout shake. And I couldn't have either of those. So I was speaking to Zoe going, what am I going to eat? What am I going to eat, you know? And I'd spoken to Kelly and she was like, oh, you know, you can get your, your energy from this and that and your verse, like butler squash and sweet potato and stuff like that. So I made sure I had those in with my foods during the day. And then when I got home, didn't actually have time from training to eat and then go to Zumba. So I just went to Zumba straight away and I was all right, I drank plenty of water and I felt like I had enough energy, luckily, you know, but in hindsight, I really should have probably had prep some, um, I wouldn't say oatmeal, but it's a one and a one saying oatmeal, I'm not in America, porridge. So probably should have prepped some porridge and had that, so, you know, so it's in hindsight, I would do that again in the future. So anyway, Thursday, again, I'm doing fine, drinking more water and eating my foods, getting a variety of foods and stuff, plenty of protein. Go to class on Thursday, and there's two things that I want to tell you about with class for. So the first thing is, I have like this, this running joke here, yeah, that if you miss classes, you have to bring me goodies. So like, um, I want cake, 
so if you miss class you need to bring me cake and this started with two of my students um, Vicky and Sam because they missed a couple of weeks and then when they came to class they brought me chocolate cake which was great you know I brought it home it's an overindulge shared with the family so anyway Emma Louise Yes, I'm talking to you, Emma Louise. Emma Louise missed a couple of weeks because I think she went out for a meal. Well, she missed one week. She went out for a meal when the class was on, which was just shocking, really. So she didn't come to class and Aggie had to come on her own. And so when I spoke to her on Facebook, I was like, I can't believe you missed class. She's like, oh, will you forgive me? And I'm like, yeah, you just bring me cake. And she's like, oh, what kind of cake? Um, but I don't think I got back to her. So anyway, Emma decides that she's not going to bring me cake Emma brings me um, strawberry and raspberry herbal tea. Don't you, Emma? And this was the face that you got, wasn't it, Emma? I was like, where's my cake? And they were all like, because this is what I love about my students, they follow what I do on Facebook. You can't have cake. You're doing your no sugar detox, blah, blah, blah. So I appreciate the support. And I wouldn't have ate it if you'd have bought it, Emma. But yeah, haha, very funny. Thanks for the herbal tea. So that was the first thing that happened. And the second thing that happened wasn't um, wasn't as funny as the herbal tea. Basically, one of my students came to class and she told me about another student who knows who she is, who was doing a silly diet. Now, because of this silly diet, she wasn't able to come to class that day because she felt ill and didn't have any energy. This then prompted me, as you know, if you follow what I do on Facebook after class, to have a massive run because I care about my students and I love teaching fitness and I like giving people the support that they need and you know I don't want people to feel under pressure to lose weight or look a certain way you know for you for for me for other people you know it, it needs to be what what you feel happy about so yeah so you know if you want to lose weight for you that's fine but don't do it for anybody else and don't do fatty diets. I'm not going to go down that route because, you know, I'll link the rant underneath this and you can watch it for yourself, okay? But yeah, I had a bit of a rant. Subsequently, she came off said fatty diet and has promised not to do it again. Good girl. Okay. So, brings me to Friday. Now, it's my mum's birthday today. Happy birthday, mum. It's 75 today. So, I was rushing around on Friday trying to get bits and pieces done for her. And while I was out shopping... But I came back to the car and I was about to get Ethan, that's my son, in the car. I'd gone round to the driver's side and I, I shut the door. And as I shut the door, I didn't move my hand quick enough and I shut my fingers in the door. Now you can't actually see, and people are probably going, no, you can't even see, you don't even look like you've done anything now. But I actually think I've broken the tip of my finger and it's really painful still and I was jumping up and down and I was just so happy I didn't have Ethan in my arms when I did it because I don't even want to imagine but you know it was it was excruciating it really was and I obviously had to keep myself calm so my son didn't have a fit at his mummy but I kind of like went I was hard, hard to believe yeah but I went white that's how painful it was really painful so I had to come back and like strap my fingers up and stuff but it meant that on Saturday I was supposed to go out dancing so for those of you that don't know my background is salsa I was supposed to work out dancing on Saturday and didn't get a chance to go because I was in so much pain with my fingers. So, you know, look after yourself when you're closing the car door because you can just do silly things like that that will just set you back. And that was, you know, that was fairly painful. So hopefully I won't be doing that again. So, yeah, mum's birthday. Um, interesting one. So I had read on Rachel's website that one of the best places to eat out, because obviously we can take her out for her birthday, um, is Nando's. <laughs> Because you can obviously have like chicken, which is grilled, and salads and stuff. So we went to Nando's and I ordered a ridiculous amount of chicken because I was starving. And I felt really naughty for eating at Nando's. But you know what? Even though I ate a large amount of food, I didn't feel bloated. That was a big thing for me, like with eliminating the sugar and the dairy and the wheat and everything else. Was I didn't feel bloated, you know, so even though I ate a ridiculous amount of food and I came home, my stomach wasn't swollen, um, I didn't feel like I was like going to be ill, I wasn't in any pain because I'd overindulged or anything like that, uh, so I was really shocked, you know, at, at what an impact it had on me and I was really quite pleased because Nando's is one of my favourite places to go and I was able to stuff my face, so that was great. 
But this brings me back to um, the foods and stuff that I was eating. So I was eating a lot of seafood because a lot of prawns and stuff like that. I had mad stuff for ages and it promoted a memory that I had from when I'm about four. And my mum used to take me to the fish market in town, Birmingham City Centre. And um, she used to give me wrinkles. Now, if you don't know what a winkle is, just think of a, a sh think of a snail, right? Yeah, like minute black snail, like this big. Yeah, so I would sit there, age four, with the winkle shell and a pin, and I'd be picking out the insides of this winkle shell and and eating it. And you know, my friends when like we were growing up and stuff, and I used to eat, used to do this a lot. They used to be grossed out. My, my best friend, I used to take her into the fish market as we got old and, you know, you yeah, venture out of the house on your own. So we could go buy these things, or, or whelks, yeah, again, more looking like snails. And she used to be absolutely disgusted and she couldn't believe that I'd eat them. And I was thinking about wrinkles when I was eating seafood and how my mum used to get them for me all the time. So I thought you might think that was quite funny. So today, um, this is, wow, this is going on a bit. I'm chatting a, a bit more than I usually would. Today I was at the Club of Size Vibe session, which was a training course that I wrote and delivered today. I delivered the first one and it went really, really well. I got some really good feedback and I was really, really chuffed with the way that it went, you know. And I, I love interacting and talking to people and knowing that I've made an impact in some way in their lives, you know. And I had some really cool conversations today people with people, you know, talking and saying, oh, you know, we like your videos. Uh, we love what you do um, you've been really supportive and you've really helped me and stuff and I don't really feel like I've helped them that much I just feel like I'm doing what comes natural to me because if I see someone and I think that they've got potential then I'll just say you know you've got potential I think you should do this and I kind of want to send um, two messages out really so the first message is to Andrea Paul now don't cry when you're watching this okay She's she's one of the most amazing people that I've I've had ever had the privilege to meet, you know. And she's just she's just <laughs> I'm even thinking about now. She's just amazing, you know. This, she's been through a lot in her life, and she's just so positive and so grateful and so gracious and you know just like possibly one of the nicest people that. I've ever had the pleasure to meet and she, she you know she got a bit emotional at the vibe session today and she was just saying you know she says thank you to me and I'm like D I don't feel like I've done anything really you know but she's like truly grateful for all the opportunities that she's been given which is awesome so I just have to give you a shout out Andrea and just say love you okay and the second message um, goes out to two people really so it's to Ross Jarvis who was hanging out in my group today and we were having a chat about my videos. So many people on the vibe session watch my videos and I have to say hi to Adam who is Ross's partner and I know that you're going to be watching this and Ross told me that he loves to watch, that you love to watch the videos. So I promised that I would say hi to you today. So hi Adam and I just want to say thank you very much for watching my videos. The support is appreciated and keep watching them don't take any notice of us if you want to take his phone and you know click on a video and watch me you you go ahead in fact friend request me okay add me as a friend on facebook and we can just eliminate Ross. we'll take Ross out, out of this middleman position and you and me will just talk we'll just chat together and it's all good okay so i'm going to wrap this up now because it's ended up being a lot longer than I anticipated and I just want to say thank you to some people so I just want to say thank you to um, Claire Burleson Green for allowing me to write and deliver this course today she had absolutely no idea how it was going to go and but she had confidence in me to deliver it anyway so that means a lot so thank you to my fellow club size instructors that attended the course today your energy was amazing and again it was appreciated Thank you to everyone who supported me this week on the seven day detox no sugar challenge. It has been hard at times and other times it's not been so hard and there's a lot of things that I've learnt this week and I will take away with me and implement them in the future. But right now I'm going to wind it up and I'm going to say thanks again for watching. Um, this is it's crazy how I'm doing this regularly now. People are still watching and appreciating and liking the video. So I'm going to, you know, do some stuff to try and make the videos a bit better and a bit slicker. And hopefully you'll still keep watching. But, you know, if you like what I do, then just click on like, comment below. If it's a video that you think people would be interested in, go ahead and share it. Okay. But until next Sunday, that is me out. Peace.
with a broken finger. <laughs>